What's up, family? Everybody's talking about male rompers. I first came across the story on Derek Muhammad's Instagram page. And then I was checking my Facebook inbox messages and I came across the story again. Somebody was like, hey man, you need to check this out. So I checked it out. And I gotta tell you, I was not surprised. Now, for those of you who don't know what rompers are, rompers are a one piece garment that first launched in American children's clothing in the 1900s. And then it became a popular women's trend in the 1970s. It made a brief comeback in the mid 2000s. And now here we are, 2017, and men, of course, want to do what women do once again, want to be able to wear what women wear. And here we are once again. Now, why are we talking about this all of a sudden? Turns out there are some guys who started a Kickstarter campaign to raise funds so that they could produce male rompers. Now, they say they came up with the idea after they were sitting around drinking beers, drinking beers, y'all, bemoaning how limited men's fashion is. So they decided that men's clothing options were so limited that they were only fit three categories. They were either too high fashion, corporate or fratty. So they decided to add a fourth category, fruity. Because that's exactly what that shit is. It's fruity. Now, some of y'all out there, oh, you're going to be quick to say, man, just let it be. Let people wear what they want to wear. People can wear whatever they want to wear. Y'all saying people that Love to point fingers and tell people to don't judge. And y'all sit your ass around judging and pointing fingers all day long. People, yeah, people should be able to wear whatever they want to wear. But don't get mad if other people decide to call them on their BS. Because just like they can wear what they want to wear, it's their right to wear whatever they want to wear. It's our right to criticize whatever they wear. And if we want to talk about they clown asses walking around here wearing women's clothing, we can do that. Now, interestingly enough, if you follow, you follow this trend that they have going on, this is what they're going to do. See, right now, they're trying to slide in the agenda by saying, okay, this is just a version of a jumpsuit. This is just a, you know, a short version of a jumpsuit. This is just jumpsuit with legs cut off. That's all it is. I beg to differ. They're trying to highlight a man's ass. That's what they're doing. Yeah, it's, 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 it has a, a, a sexual element to it. And I'm going to tell you this too. Right now, it, it's not super ultra feminine. However, they do have some of those fruity colors. But what they're going to do is that once y'all accept that, they're going to start ruffling the the linings and stuff. You know, they're going to start coming with the flower colors and the pastels and all that stuff. It's going to get fruitier and fruitier and then you're just going to be able to not tell the difference at all in terms of who uh, should be wearing this stuff. What rack, what department should this go in? Now they said that men's 
clothing options are limited. You damn right they limited. They're limited because we got motherfuckers like y'all who call yourself fashion designers designing women's clothing and calling them men's clothing. And you're putting women's clothing in the men's department. Man, I can't even buy a damn regular size shirt anymore. When I buy a damn shirt, I got to buy a motherfucking 4X shirt just to make it compatible to a large size shirt. That's what's happening. They make the damn shirts so damn tight. They make them so small that you can't even wear half the shit that they got on the racks these days. I mean, they, they full blown with it, man. And it is, it, it is, it's an agenda. It is a homosexual agenda. It is an agenda to effeminate men in America with a special em emphasis on black men. Believe that. Man, this ain't no, this ain't, this ain't about just fashion. This everything or every level that they, that's out there. They're trying to effeminate men, period, especially black men. Don't get fooled by this shit, man. Oh, people can wear what they want to wear. You know, you're thinking this masculinity thing is going too far. You know, this masculine thing, you know, doesn't make you a man wearing certain clothes, doesn't make you a man. No, wearing certain clothes don't make you a man, but it does make you a bitch. Believe that. And a lot of you dudes out there that's co-signing this shit, y'all some bitches. You dressing like bitches. And that's no disrespect to women. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know, y'all know what I'm getting at with this. I'm just saying that these dudes act feminine. And they look feminine. And it should be more of a difference between men and women than our anatomy, just our body parts. It should be more of a difference. It should be a difference in the way men talk, the way men walk, the way men dress, the way men argue, the way men carry themselves, the way men dance. That should be a difference, a very profound difference. But the lines are so blurred today in American society, man, you don't know what's what. Everybody want to be something they ain't. And then, and then what's funny is that, is that everybody love to talk about God while they're talking about it. So if you believe in God, now this ain't for the atheists. I'll get to y'all later. Let me talk to the godly people first. If you love God, and you believe in God so much. Why you don't do everything that he asks you to do? Why you only pick and choose certain things? Because I know for a fact, there is some language in that Bible that says that a man should not dress like a woman and a woman should not dress like a man. And if you do, he going to handle you. That's, that's in the Bible. I don't, I don't have the exact verbiage, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Look it up. All you got to look up is what does the Bible say or what does God say about men dressing like women? It's right there. I'm going to tell you pretty soon, see, it's hard to argue the, the passages, many of the passages in the Bible. Because, <laughs> you know, everybody say, well, you know, Men wrote it, but God said it. Pretty soon, they are going to get rid of God. They're going to try to take God all the way out of the discussion. They already tried to take him out of the schools. And actually, they've succeeded in taking him out of many schools. They're going to try to take God off the money where it says, in God we trust. They're going to try to take that He's going to try to take God off the money. They're going to take him out, out of all of federal buildings. They are going to take God out the Bible. I'm telling y'all, it's coming. I'm telling you, 
They pushing that agenda way too hard and God is in the way, man. God is in the way. They sitting around, I bet you they sitting around right now. Okay, what else we got to do? What else we got to do? We working, man. We, we working. We got the internet on lock. We got the media on lock. Shit, okay. We got the schools on lock. Because you know now they're, they're going into schools and they're forcing uh, curriculum where you have to teach children to be tolerant of homosexuality. So they're saying, and then they're, now they're telling people to, that when children are born, you shouldn't call them a boy or a girl. You should let them grow some and then let them decide if they are a boy or a girl. <laughs> boy, they working on y'all ass. They ain't doing nothing to me, but they working on y'all. They working on the weak. Trust that. Where we go from here, y'all? Women. Some of you women out there are enablers also. Because when your boy come home with them tight ass pants that look like leggings, that's so damn tight that they look like they were painted on, instead of you saying take that shit off, you know what you say? Ooh, that's cute. When you gonna let me wear? Yeah. How many of you women out there would date a dude that wear rumpers? <laughs> Can you imagine a dude like that raising children? Boy, get in there and do your homework. Man, you got on some rumpers. <laughs> Who could respect a dude in some damn rumpers? Come on, man. Come on. If y'all want to Live that lifestyle and be like that. That's cool. But don't try to make that shit like it's normal. Don't try to push it on everybody else. Try to make everybody else accept it because that's your lifestyle because you accept it. Just don't try to push it on everybody else. Y'all talking about uh, people should be able to wear whatever they want and why do we have to have? And that's another thing they're talking about. Gender clothing. Why should we have gender clothing? They're trying to actually go into these department stores and remove the men and women sections. They're trying to get rid of the departments and just everything be neutral. It is an attack. They like to talk about these attacks on homosexuality. No, nah, man. It's an attack on heterosexuality yeah that's what the attack is and I'm standing up to the shit I ain't trying to be PC I ain't worried about you trying to knock me off of a platform or stop me from getting my money I got loyal fans for real and they know what I'm about I don't hate I don't promote hate but I don't promote that bullshit either. So just like you got a right to push it, I got a right to knock it down. Male rumpers are right up there with the stupidest shit that has ever been created. They got built-in pee holes, but that stopped being appropriate at around the age two, which is exactly how old your ass gonna look in a giant onesie. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Texas.